we know that half of the pregnancies in the United States are unplanned, and it disproportionately affects women in poverty. Women below the poverty line are seven times more likely to have an unplanned pregnancy compared to women that are at two times above the, the poverty level. Um, we know that 40% of unplanned pregnancies are aborted, and 68% of them are paid by Medicaid. Um, it's the, along with substance abuse, it's the greatest contributor to generational poverty. These women frequently do not finish their educational goals, and it affects their entire lives. And beyond that personal um, tragedy for these individual women, there's a huge cost to, you know, in tax money. I think $288 per woman in Wisconsin each year just to pay for the births of unplanned uh, children. And that's not even including that uh, unplanned pregnancies are much more likely to be premature, not to have had prenatal care, and, and a host of other problems that, that contributes to that as well. When I brought this bill up two sessions ago, when I first brought it up, there were 12 states that had switched over to this model. We now have 28 states, um, and there's six more that are considering it. And these are both red and blue states. Um, and we know from, those, from what has happened in those states that it does reduce unplanned pregnancies and it reduces abortions. Um, so part of this bill is that when a woman goes to a pharmacy, she'll fill out a questionnaire, if there are any red flags, then they will be referred to, a, to their physician. Um, they also get a blood pressure screening. Blood clots are the greatest risk, and that will help with that. Um, and the, uh, the prescription will also, the information there will be uh, forwarded on to their um, physician as well. Um, I will say that this bill is supported by nearly every medical group. The obstetricians, the family practitioners, the nurses, the pharmacists are all in, su in support of this bill. Um, so we also hear sometimes that people criticize and say, well, you know, if we make birth control more accessible, women have a false sense of security and, and it actually increases unplanned births. And there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever that that occurs. Uh, birth control is 99.9% .9 effective if it's used consistently. And one of the biggest obstacles in that is the availability. So this will help considerably with that.